Jason Crocker here, Better Body 90, and it's been 18 days now since I went cold turkey on my coffee and my energy drinks. And you know, it's it's definitely moved along a lot smoother than I thought it would. I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm in no way craving coffee. For the first week, I was saying how much I, you know, it would be cool to get to that day 31 and have my cup of coffee and go at it. But you know what? I really honestly don't think that's even going to happen. I, I don't really have any craving for it anymore. And it tastes great. And I love how the caffeine works, but I don't really need it. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I probably won't even hit coffee on day 31. We'll see. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to enjoy it here and there. But anyways, today what I want to do is just show you some of my, or one of my basic recipes. This is just what I'm doing today. I don't have really any extra fruits like bananas or anything. So uh, what I did is I just added about a half a cup of water. Because I do find the chocolate Shakeology powder is, it makes a very thick shake. So I thin it down with a little bit of water, it just makes it easier to drink. And I'm going to top that off with another half a cup of milk, 1% milk. So you've got a total volume of about a cup of liquid. Um, it's still going to make quite a bit of shake, but uh, I have imitation vanilla flavors. Add a little bit of vanilla. I do regular vanilla, but this is cheaper, so this is what I have. Um, I'm just going to do like half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to toss in peanut butter. I do this every day in my shake, pretty much regardless of what I put in here. Um, I mean, I won't do it in the green berry, but for the chocolate, I think the peanut butter adds a nice touch. It's, um, it's a natural peanut butter. I showed it to you before. I showed it to you again. It's what I have in Florida anyways. You might have it. You may not have it. I don't know. But I got this at Target. Um, it's amazing. Called Naturally More. It's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. And it's, it's kind of like a smooth peanut butter. It does have um, I think there's sesame seeds or something in here. But um, it's, it's good stuff. Let me wipe that in there. Peanut butter is messy. Alright. That was like a heaping tablespoon. Um, the other thing I'm going to do today, and of course do this at your own risk, but I'm going to add an egg, a whole egg for added protein and nutrients. Um, now, I like to break up my egg in a cup first before I do it. I don't want to do it directly in my shake because if you happen to break any kind of egg shell, it's, you can actually clean it out before you put it in your shake. So just a little hint there if you do do something like this. All right, I'm going to put that in. Clean some of this counter space off here as I do this, I guess. All right, so I'm 18 days and I'm rocking it so far. I feel much better, more sustained energy throughout the days. Um, and I mean that truthfully, like I get up, like this morning I woke up awake. Before when I was having my coffee, my body was so conditioned for coffee every day, I would wake up and be groggy and basically stumble my way out here to get to the espresso machine in the day one video that I moved from this spot. Um, I would be right on top of that thing. I'd have to go to the store to pick up like any kind of creamer or whatever. And, uh, terrible. So I mean, I would. That's how I had to wake up. By then, after I had my coffee, I'd finally be awake and be able to start. So that'd be like an hour down the, you know, down the into the morning, and um, I'd already wasted time. So um, I'm doing a scoop of chocolate Shakeology. Just one full level scoop. Getting close to the end here. I get greenberry next, so I'm excited to try those recipes. But for now, this is what I got, and I've got about six cubes of ice from an ice maker machine. I'm gonna toss those in that. Makes it more like a smoothie kind of deal. This stuff makes like an awesome, it's kind of like a milkshake, it really is. Okay, I'm gonna blend this up, put it in a cup. Right. I'll be right back with Check you. This out. <laughs> yeah, it fills up this pretty large cup. Um, still a little bit in the bottom, but that's it. I seriously am addicted to this stuff. Like I have to have it every day now. Like, I mean, it's it's that good. It tastes that good. I, I can't explain to you right now. <clears throat> this is really really creamy, like a creamy chocolate shake. Um, the water made it a little bit thinner, which is great. So it's kind of like a thin chocolate shake, but it's really good. It's it doesn't have any nasty aftertaste, like some protein powders or anything like that. It tastes awesome. It really does. Um, and so far, the benefits I'm feeling overall, like the physiology of it, like I'm feeling great. You know, I'm waking up, ready to go, I'm going to bed easier. I have more sustained energy throughout the day. I'm not crashing. I'm not having a high. I'm not having a low. Just having a nice, steady energy. Uh, I don't need it. Like before, when I'd go to my weekend job at Red Robin serving tables, 
if I didn't have my coffee, I'd be a couple hours in, I'd be crashing, like ready to fall on my face and need my coffee. I'd get a coffee and I'd be ready to go for another hour or two hours. Now I just bring a power bar with me, something to munch on, and you know, I feel fine. I don't need my coffee, I don't crave it. I can go through my whole shift and not need any kind of energy supplement. I don't need Red Bulls, I don't need my Red Line. I haven't had any of that stuff. I went completely cold turkey. And Shakeology's been my, my crotch basically to help me get through. And uh, it's, it's been amazing. So, day 18, rocking it. And I'm gonna leave you on this final thing because I've had a couple of people say this and I absolutely understand the fact that you know you do Shakeology, but it costs a lot. And you know what, it does, but it's because you're not paying for cheap quality product. You're paying for what you get and you're getting some really, really good stuff. And I understand if you can't afford it, I, I know that. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, but for your health, you are better off trying to make room for what you, you, know, you can afford. I'm sure there's expenses up there you don't need. Think about it. Uh, at Red Robin, I wait on tables of a family of three that are spending $35 on a couple burgers, some fries, and a bunch of soda. I mean, think about that. Cut that out once or twice in a month, okay? Twice in a month, and you've almost paid for Shakeology right there. For me, I was drinking coffee every day. I was drinking Red Bull every day. I was drinking Red Lines. You know, not every day, but like I was drinking them very, very often throughout the week at least four days out of the week and I had my coffee every day. So cut those expenses out like I've done and I basically paid for my Shakeology just by reducing my bad habits and putting in a good habit. So it's not like I'm spending really any more month when I look at it that way. So I mean it's just, it's just one of those ways to really look at it. It's, it seems like a big expense but if you really break down your cost of what you're spending now and replace it with Shakeology, I guarantee you you're not going to be spending much more in a month and you might even be saving money. So check it out. Just wanted to put it in perspective for you. This has been Jason Croxford, Better Body 90, Day 18, Staying Strong to Day 30. Take care.